Deep in the rainforests of Central and South America lives a tiny frog that doesn't believe in camouflage. Its bright colors warn predators to stay away or suffer the consequences. This is the poison dart frog, a deadly beauty. But these particular frogs don't live in the rainforest. And despite their name, they aren't at all poisonous. Historically, people have liked the mystique of the name poison dart frogs, even though in this country, most likely 100% of the time, they're not poisonous. That's because dart frogs raised in captivity, like these at USA Frog near Memphis, don't develop those deadly poisons. The frogs in the wild, the bugs that they eat, have ingested various plant toxins, and then that's how they become poisonous. Instead of eating toxic bugs, these frogs eat fruit flies, lots of them. The flies, which have been genetically altered to keep them from flying, get divided up, dusted with a vitamin supplement, then fed to the frogs. They'll all kind of emerge out of the leaf litter and start eating. They normally don't eat for, for too long. They'll just go back and hide. Feeding time is a family affair, as brothers Devin, Dylan, and Daly Washer work together to care for their frogs. We've always been interested in the outdoors. We used to live out in the country, and we'd play in the little creeks and catch mud puppies and minnows and everything. Those creekside adventures got Dylan interested in raising frogs as pets. I had uh, fish and tree frogs for a while, and uh, I always wanted to have dart frogs because they always seemed to me like kind of the ultimate exotic creature, you know, the ultimate exotic pet. Soon, he started raising them on a larger scale, getting the whole family involved. We took our basement and we built a special room that was perfectly specked out, perfectly square. Unfortunately, we outgrew it in about three weeks. Today, they have plenty of room to handle their growing family business, and Dylan has turned frog breeding into a science, creating specialized breeding tanks. All of the nutrients just get cycled down into the soil layer and used up by the plants, so there's really no cleaning. It's a self-sustaining ecosystem. And keeping detailed records that track each frog's ancestry. We breed them selectively, not only to breed for the best coloration and most attractive frogs, but also the hardiest, boldest, strongest frogs for future generations. A dart frog's brilliant colors are one of its most attractive qualities. The color is actually just two layers of skin cells mostly. Some of the combinations they come in, you know, it's pretty amazing to think that that frog exists in nature. All the blues, all the yellows and grays and shades of midnight blues and oranges. And they always come to the front of the glass and just look at me a lot and they're always so gorgeous. And I really like them a lot. While most frogs are nocturnal, dart frogs like to come out during the day. And once you spend some time with them, you begin to realize these little amphibians have lots of personality. They're inquisitive, interesting. They can become quite loyal. Some frogs are more bold and kind of more active. Some frogs are a little bit more shy and a little more temperamental. The coolest thing is how they can interact with people a lot and they're not afraid of people at all. That relationship between frog and human extends all the way to South America. While raising dart frogs has become a fun way for this family to earn a living, it's also helping protect and conserve frogs in the wild, thousands of miles away from their Memphis home. People bringing frogs out of the wild and invading the wild is really not helping at all. It's just contributing to, to the demise of a lot of these rainforest habitats. They're not endangered yet. They're not protected yet, officially. But they're definitely moving in that direction. To be able to breed and house and raise and distribute this many captive bred versions without taking a single frog from the wild, you just feel great inside. And you know that's a big help. 